Okay, the final chapter of Robot we'll talk about after this. Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd. And in the last episode, we know that it's going to be the resolution. We know the doctor is going to win. We know somehow they're going to do this. Um, we've talked about in the last couple of videos just how cheesy their special effects are, but I have to say that down in their bunker, they had a fairly believable control room. Even in Star Wars, there's been a number of remarks made about the firing panel and the Death Star which was actually a video switcher. Uh, in this case, uh, they didn't use anything actual. It looked like it was all pretty much designed. Uh, there were push buttons and rocker switches and things like this. It looked like it was special built. And uh, they have your usual bank of uh, computer tape drives and things to make it look very high tech and a video screen with a countdown timer on it. Uh, all pretty well done. It was all fairly believable. The only thing that bothers me about this whole adventure and, and some of the Tom Baker era generally is that everything is shot so closely. It seems that the characters had to stand very closely together in order to make a scene. And it gave a, a, a very cramped look to the whole uh, area. They were never uh, more than a few feet away from where they were shooting at the robot. They were never uh, uh, more than a few inches from each other. And and you kind of wonder if, if they couldn't have pulled the, back, the camera back a little bit. And probably they couldn't because there wasn't enough set there for it. Or perhaps the studio was small. I'm not really sure what they were dealing with at the time. But it, it did give kind of a cramped look to it that uh, maybe was not originally intended. And I'm not talking about just the indoor shots where you would expect that, but the outdoor shots as well, where uh, they seem to be only three or four steps away from the bunker that uh, they're backing out from. There was a wonderful quote here from uh, the brigadier who, while they're shooting at the robot to no effect, he said, I wish we could be against something not immune from bullets. And uh, I think that's a very fun line and also very revealing about uh, what uh, all of these kind of adventures are. In science fiction, ray guns are the only things that you shoot people with. Uh, bullets are pretty useless. Once again, they, they bring in the King Kong analogy. This time the robot uh, catches uh, Sarah and puts her at the top of a tower and uh, this this tower she's hanging on to and screaming and uh, then you know the robot is trying to protect her while going out after the unit troops and uh, of course uh, uh, the doctor finds out a way in order to uh, deal with this it had been revealed in an earlier episode that uh, 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 Dr. Ketterwell was working on a metal virus in order to bring it down and, and uh, without, well, I mean, I'm going to spoil this. Uh, they did bring the robot down. But um, uh, in the meantime, the more interesting things are, this is the first time we've ever seen the fourth doctor with jelly babies. While uh, it's a, a fairly intense scene where uh, he is uh, uh, talking with, with Harry and, and Sarah, and he pulls out of his pocket a bag of Jelly Babies and offers one. And this is uh, something that becomes kind of, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's still so iconic to his character that uh, Jelly Babies still sell pretty well, I understand. Uh, I had to order some by mail. Unfortunately, it was during the summer, and they all stuck together by the time I got them. But um, despite the fact that they were... Uh, not that tasty to my palate. Uh, it was certainly uh, something I wanted to have just because they'd talked about it so much. So I imagine a few Jelly Babies were sold, whether they intended for that or not. A uh, wonderful last line that um, the doctor makes uh, where uh, he's being accused of being childish, and he said there's no point in being grown up if you can't be childish once in a while. I like that line, and uh, as an old boss of mine used to say, put that on my luggage. So I'd like to know what you think about this. Put it in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, the channel survives on your goodwill. So I hope that you will continue to watch these videos and uh, to subscribe if you have not so far. And so until next time when we start a new Doctor Who adventure and everything else that we're doing around here, don't go far. <laughs>